Balances are beautiful and easy to install. In this video, we'll show you how to mount your wood or faux wood valance step by step. First, take a look at the installation guide and packing slip that were included with your valance. Make sure you have all of the parts and all of the tools you'll need. And if you're installing into anything other than wood, get the appropriate screws and anchors. Next, Follow the installation instructions included with your blind or shade to mount your blind or shade brackets. If you're installing on an inside treatment, use the valance clips and attach them approximately six inches from each end of the headrail, spacing the clips evenly across. Make sure the clips don't interfere with ladders or other internal components of your window treatment. If you're using wall brackets, insert a carriage bolt through both brackets and secure loosely with a wing nut. And if your installation requires a flat extension bracket, follow your printed instructions. Now position the wall brackets. The top of your blind or shade's mounting bracket should be about 3 16ths of an inch below the bottom edge of the wall L bracket. Space the wall L brackets evenly across the width of the valance. Mark the locations for two screw pilot holes for each L bracket as you go. Drill pilot holes for the screws using a 1 16th inch bit. Now screw the brackets into place using two screws per bracket. Some returns come pre-assembled. Some valances have one or two grooves and require return brackets. If there's only one groove, it should be at the top or center of the valance. Spliced valances require a splice plate to hold the pieces together. Some valances have two grooves and may require two splice plates. If your valance requires splice plates, Insert one end of a splice plate into a valance piece. Slide the keystone spacer over the splice plate with the spacer tabs toward the back of the valance. Slide the second valance piece into the splice plate and keystone spacer. Turn the valance face side up and align the keystone back plate legs with the spacer and press the keystone into place. Now install your blind or shade. Next, center the valance over your blind or shade and mark the bracket or clip locations on the back of the valance. Position the valance slides on the back of the valance to align with the marks. Now attach the valance. Adjust the projection of the valance with the wall brackets and tighten the screws. That's it, you're done. If you had any trouble following these steps or need to know how to care for and clean your new valance, check your installation guide or visit our website. The Window Covering Safety Council recommends cordless window coverings that are certified best for kids.